Zev, it's always great to see you, man. Uh, congratulations on the Battle Box Hall of Fame induction. What's it mean to you? How's everything been right now? Everything's been good, man. Everything's been blessed. Um, wake up every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm still here. Stay on my good health. I'm just happy, man. Family's well. Gotcha. You know I mean? Yeah. Got you. Now, uh, boxing and what? How old were you when you first got into the sport? Six years old. Six years old. I had, I had, I had my first fight in uh, the Wow. Six years old, New York City. Wow. Was it real competitive back then, even as a as a young? Yeah, New York City was crazy. So my amateur record was 115 wins and five losses. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What were some of your best memories from the amateur days, like? Golden Gloves, New York City Golden Gloves. Like, New York City Golden Gloves is legendary. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like, it's um, super, it's super extra. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What about turning so, pro? To so win it is, it, 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 it's very tough. You know what I'm saying? So, what about turning professional? And like, what was that like for you? Um, it was dope, 1996. September 28th, I turned professional under Pernell Whitaker. I was the co-man against Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. I was with Duba, Duba and the whole group. So yeah, we, we had a good time. I had a second round knockout, and after that, I ran it up. Got you. <laughs> you. Did you learn a lot from Pernell? Oh, everything. Yeah. I tried to pick brain every chance I got. Every chance I got. Got you. Where did most of your training camps take place? I was just find out. I trained, I trained everywhere. I went everywhere. Yeah. So it was like no one. You're spot. down in Florida too, I remember. I Florida, like, all over Florida. Miami, Hollywood, Vero Beach, yeah. all over, all over. Yeah. You're, you're around Casimo a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. was Florida days like? Pretty good training down there? And Duba Day, Duba Day. Yeah, yeah Duba was my guy. What about going to Vegas, coming to Vegas? What prompted that move? Um, my type. Really? My Tyson, yeah. Mike, I was big, I was big bro. We came out here to some fights. And we seen how he was out here, you know what I'm saying, living and, and, and just doing it. And he was like, yo, he, he had to come out here, man. Come out here and get some good training and get and get it in. I was like, yeah, you know, anything, anything the champ was doing or the champ was into, I was, I was definitely on it. Got you. And one thing I always notice about you, you always support all the fighters. You're always at... Then you introduced me to Devin Haney when he was 10 years old. Yeah, what, yeah. what What is that about you where you're always around the scene and supporting everybody in the sport? You know what? Um, in my case, in real talk, it feels better to give love than, than, than get it back. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like to give love and help people and, you know, make people smile. I don't know. Got you. It's, it's, it's a fulfilling thing for me. Got you. Looking back at your career, what's some of your, like your best memories and just wildest? All of it. All of it. You know why? Because each memory created a different, it had its own story. It was its own timing, own timeline. So every fight was different. So I can never say one fight was better than another one. Yeah, it may have been for a bigger prestige fight, more money fight, but from the first fight to the last fight, Everyone, because you got to train, you got to prepare, you got to think, you got to pray, you got to live it. You know what I mean? So every every fight that is own different obstacle. That's you know what I mean. So I love them all. Do you still watch the sport now? I love, I love it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the sport. I'm yeah. Fan of the sport. Who do you think is the best, the, the best fighter in the world today? Uh, Terrence Crawford. Really? Why do you say that? Hands down. I'm just. His display of how he's been doing his last couple fights and how he's been, it's been phenomenal. Gotcha. Now, you're busy. You're always all over the place. Um, what, are, what are you up to these days and how can people keep up with you? Um, I got a podcast. You can follow me on, on YouTube. It's called Before Champ. Yeah. I got, I got my podcast. You can follow me on IG at Zab Judah. And, uh... CBR, the next biggest fight. I'll be there. Okay, appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow.